how to do a shatter combo. Now, what is a shatter combo? First of all, it's a little technique that you use as a frost mage. So if there's any new mages around considering going frost, this is the video for you. It's not as potent as it used to be, because the mastery has changed to frost, but it's always been a strong, strong tool for burst damage ever since the Burning Crusade, when the water elemental was added. And today we're going to learn how to do it. But before we can attack anything, we need to set up a macro. So first of all, type slash m. This opens up your macro pane. And as you can see here, in my specific macros, I've got three here. I've got a counter strike one, counter strike, counter spell. There you go. Uh, freeze and ice block. And the one we need is freeze. Now, if you don't know, freeze is the name of your pet's water elementals, frost nova, like this. And what we need to be able to do is use that without having to click it off this bar here. So I, I have it set to the C key. Ultimately, it must be something that you have a key bound to. You can't, you can't you click it. It's too laborious and onerous to be clicking like this. So the macro is question mark icon name freeze. I'm just going to put a two because I've already got one. First line hash show tool tip space freeze. Next line slash cast freeze. I could spell freeze. There we go. And this that is all it is. It's the easiest macro in the world. And that's it. And there you go. And then and the icon automatically updates as you can see. Now I've already got a freeze macro, so I don't need a new one. So I'm going to keep my original freeze macro. Now the premise is based on these passives here. Shatter doubles the critical strike chance of all of your spells against frozen targets plus an additional 50%. That's really important. Clearly we're getting a huge boost to burst damage on frozen targets so bear that in mind now as you've probably worked out if you've played mage for you know any length of time when you frost over a target or freeze them with your water elemental the, the 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 root that they're in will break as soon as you start hurting them because there's like a damage threshold so the, the root breaks now the the damage is based or calculated based on when the spell leaves your hand not when the spell hits the target so this means we can actually cram in a lot more damage into this shatter than we'd otherwise be able to if we just cast spells normally. Now the other thing that's important to note is Ice Lance. Now Ice Lance here, you can see the tooltip in the corner, deals quadruple damage against frozen targets. So you can sort of start to build a picture here of what we're trying to do. We're trying to cram as much damage as we can into one freeze. Now you can do this with Frost Nova, but it's it's very difficult to do it properly because with Frost Nova you've got to cast it, it's on your global cooldown. The Pets Nova, this freeze spell, that is not on your global cooldown. So you can cast that while you're doing other things. That's the huge advantage. So this Twin Spire Taskmaster here, first of all what I'll do is I'll just show you a basic Frost Bolt and Ice Lance Shatter combo on this Taskmaster. Well, he's run off, so we'll do it on this guy. Or this guy behind him because he's got no little ads. Okay, so Frostbolt, Freeze, Go, Ice Lance. Bam! Huge crits. Now that's what we do. And that's the basic premise of this. So I'm just going to finish this guy off. And the idea is that we're getting the, the Shatter bonus on the Frostbolt and the Ice Lance there. Whereas potentially the Frostbolt could have broken that Nova on its own. Or the Ice Lance could have broken the Nova on its own. We don't know. Now in PvP, there's another advantage that you don't give your tar your target enough time to break that route. So a paladin doesn't have enough time to hand a freedom themselves if you if you use the pet nova. So it's important to be kind of quick with it. Use the freeze towards the end of the of the cast of frostbolt. So let's break that down a little bit. First thing we do once we found a target, start casting frostbolt. Now just before it gets to the end of the bar around here. That's when we start using the freeze spell and get that targeted. So frostbolt, freeze, ice lance. There you go, and you see massive crits, and we're you know everything's glorious and it's amazing and you know nice and easy. Now the other thing we can try and do to cram even more damage in, and this is quite difficult, is to add frost bomb into the mix. Now frost bomb is harder to fit in because 
the bomb has a delay so there's no travel time it just has a as a, as a countdown and the reason it works with Frostbolt and Ice Lance is because there's a travel time on Frostbolt so there's a delay between the spell leaving your hand when the damage is done or calculated and the, the target being broken out of the route by the Frostbolt that hits them so that's why it works you can weave a frost bomb in. It's it just means that the bomb needs to explode in the time between the frost bolt and ice lance leaving your hand and the target being hit, which is quite difficult to do. But in practice, it's not too bad, as you'll see here. So we'll cast frost bomb, frost bolt, nova, and you can see there massive crits, 73k damage. That is a mob dead in a matter of seconds. That can be done pretty much every time Freeze is ready. Freeze has got a fairly short cooldown, 25 seconds, and that's you know enough damage to kill this mob in one hit. So I could probably kill myself in one hit if I did that, even factoring in resilience. It's it's very powerful stuff, and that isn't even considering cooldowns. That's not considering frozen orb. That's not considering anything. You know you can do some really really nasty burst damage on a frost mage. That's why they get a lot of complaints in PvP because they get all this control. You know you're freezing people. You're doing all this sort of stuff, and you can pull out this burst damage. People neglect to mention that the damage outside of this is is not amazing, but this is this is a key part of why frost mages get you know there's a lot of moaning about frost mages so let's just go over that again frost bomb frost bolt freeze bam look at that massive numbers everywhere lovely and that is why i enjoy playing a frost mage it's a shame i haven't got it to level 90 really it's only level 85 but um it's a very very old character and i i do have some other level 90s but um there we go. I, I normally enjoy playing a tank or healer, but uh, certainly for PvP, this is one of the more fun classes for me. Absolutely love it. And there we go. And that's all for today. Um, I'll write the macro in the description as well, so you can just copy and paste it out of there, rather than try and decipher the, uh, the text on the YouTube video. And um, yeah, like, favourite and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers.